Welcome. So I've got my my first video of my coverage on the 2022 SRK Championship. Um, this is a practice round at Herefordshire Raceway. You can see just there I, I noticed the problem because they you get someone of the engine top, but you know, get away eventually. And, uh, so yeah, first time out on track and it's it's, it's quite cold initially. Um, it was a bit foggy on the way over. So I'm just trying to find the limit. Um, personally, I, I find myself pushing it a bit hard at the start. Um, but I, I think I learned the track quicker that way. So Yeah, running into the barrier a bit, just not used to it. First time out on track again, so... This corner, I, it's, it's pretty scary at first, because you, you drop down and then suddenly you met with a corner. So first flying lap of the session, um, and I've already got somebody ahead of me. This was Michelle, uh, I'm not sure she's competing in the SRK, but she came along anyway, uh, which is great. I, I went with the home move group that I'm with for the SRK2 group in the SRK Championship. And I've got um, Barry Lewis in Dancer and Jason Ford. So this coming Sunday, um, I'll be racing with them here, and I'll, I'll also be making a video on it. But yeah, big thanks to the Home Move guys um, for letting me join their team, and I'm super stoked about um, racing for them, with them, um, for the, yeah, the upcoming round on Sunday, and I'm hoping to get quite a few points for them and you know maybe even take them into the first place for SRK too. So big shout out to Barry and Aiden for, for letting me race with them. So just uh, skipping on a little further ahead and uh, start to catch up to some more people. Um, the cart's a lot warmer now and uh, I've, I've learnt the track a bit better. That time's starting to go down. Uh, yeah, just catching these guys. A lot of this, uh, this practice session was about trying to get quick lap times, but it, I think it was also to get a bit of experience with uh, catching and overtaking people on this track, because obviously I've, I've spent a lot of uh, time at Teams with Bristol, that's where the vast majority of my my time passing has been, and it's great to see it transfer so well over to, uh, to other tracks like Herefordshire. So, of course I had my, uh, my group for home move racing, uh, I was competing with them in this practice round but then there were also a couple of other guys uh, who were, uh, I don't think they'd been before but they still kind of knew what they were doing which was good to see as we also had uh, rounds in between our breaks um, and they, well it's pretty fortunate we didn't have that, let's put it that way. Uh, seeing the guy lock up ahead it does show you that there really is quite a quite a grip to be had. Um, but it's easy, to, easy enough to lose that. Now to compete in SRK, you've got to be a minimum of 80 kilos, and I am 55 at my highest with kit. So it was uh, we had to make a big effort with lots of lead plating and our own seat insert to get to the point where I was actually able to compete. Um, I wasn't required to have this 80 kilos on me, um, you know, 80 kilos too. I wasn't required to have it on me for the practice session, but it was obviously a good idea to try it so that I knew what I was going in with. 
uh, for the, when it came to the championship. So just catching up to the back of Michelle here, uh, getting a few oversteer moments, just coming off of the ramp, and uh, this is my favourite corner here, because just the banking was awesome. He had so much grip through it, and uh, yeah, I'm not looking to send anybody into the shadow realm, but um, I'm looking to try and be competitive and get past her. Try and get the cut back, doesn't quite work, so just tuck in behind her again. And my audio cuts out. It does that every 13 minutes, which is just a feature of the camera. Because it's not it's not GoPro, it's something else. As you may be able to tell from the quality, but... Yeah, just trying to stick to the back of the shell. Either wait for her to give me space, or uh, I'll try and make it myself. Bit of, bit of a bump to her, and she just lets me through. So we get a few more opportunities to just get some more laps in before I catch anybody else back up. So I've got my fastest lap coming up, uh, even with that oversteer moment coming up to the, uh, to the line. Fastest lap of session one. Nice and tidy through the first few hairpins. Um, it's pretty critical to making sure you maintain speed out the corner because even if these things have like 9.6 horsepower, it's still not quite enough to get you away super quick. So you've got to look at maintaining that momentum and uh, especially keeping it neat uh, down this ramp. Otherwise, you lose a lot of your momentum just kind of sliding about. So yeah, 3, 996. Uh, not a bad time. Talking to a couple of other guys from Bristol and uh, they were struggling to get some sub 34s. So it was, it was quite reassuring to me as this is my, my third time out uh, at an outdoor track. Uh, you know, that I'm competitive and that I can get some decent times. So yeah. Session 1 coming to an end and we just fell into the pits. I think there was a five minute break before we went out for the second one, so uh, yeah. Right, so session two, um, starting right on the back of Barry. And uh, we have a pretty good battle here, actually. Uh, it's, it's good to see that the people I'm competing with are you know, obviously competitive and uh, are quick enough to, to race with, race well with. So, just peeling off of him at the back there uh, to make sure I don't run into him, come into that corner and uh, I notice I can, I can probably stick to him a bit better. Don't need to give him quite so much room. So obviously I don't want to don't hurt these guys and I don't want to you know, push him into a wall or off the track. But yeah, Barry just kind of he makes a bit of a mistake, puts himself uh, a bit wide into the wall, loses his speed and I just kind of cut my way through. But yeah. So just getting more general running in here. Um, keeping it quite tidy through the first corner there. Tidy through the first hairpin. Bit of understeer on the second one. But just make sure you're uh, prioritising that momentum on exit.
Right, so just uh, skipping ahead again, uh, looking at some of the, some of the more interesting action, the uh, back markers, and we've caught back up to Michelle. I mean, Michelle was, she was good. Um, she was really good. I think you'd be, you'd be surprised if you try to race against her. She is really quite quick. Um, yeah, here, looking at either having a bit of a battle or uh, trying to have a look at just letting me past. Yeah, I lose the rear a bit coming through that corner, so I completely lose all the momentum and to work to get it back up again. She lets me through uh, after that down ramp. And, uh, yeah, main straight. At this point, uh, things were really starting to heat up. The, the track was warming up. It was clouds kind of disappeared from the morning and it was really starting to get quite hot in the suit. Uh, I had over 25 kilos of weight all in um, for the cart to get me to that minimum 80 kilos and I think I had five of, five of those kilos in my, my shorts that I wear onto my race suit uh, but also you could see just there by the wheel um, I've got some are supposed to be ankle weights with removable sandbags. And, um, yeah, the Herefordshire track is really quite bumpy. And I've, uh, even still recording this a few days after, I've got big bruises on the inside of my knees. So I'm going to have to fashion some kind of uh, knee protector for that one. Uh, audio cuts out again, which is very helpful. And then I have my fastest lap of session 2 coming up Just there, uh, crossing the line, and uh, that's the end of the session. So 33.805. Um, that's my second fastest time of the day, and my fastest throughout with the with the weights. Because in my third session, I decide I'm going to drop the weights and see how fast I can go. You see there, it's uh, a bit five kilos in. I think cameras mounted uh, angled a bit too low for this one, but didn't seem to matter. You can see uh, as soon as the session starts, I'm so much quicker than everybody on the straights. I accidentally bumped this guy ahead a little bit, but I, I think he was already destined to go offline anyway. And I'm already through. So yeah, um, getting rid of 25 kilos of weight really, really does make a difference to not only the lap times, but also the way the cart handles. I found myself the cart jumping around a lot more. Um, it's a lot more difficult to control, but it does mean you can get more speed out the corners and uh, you can be quicker on the brake. So you just got to make sure you're you're maintaining the rear of that cart, not letting it run away from you. So now I'm just catching up to some more um, more people, and I've just got to pick the moment to throw it up the inside and try and get past it. Trying to stick to the inside there, look for any kind of gap that might open, but it doesn't. Again, having a look to the inside, but it doesn't work. Now, getting down the straight, you just use an extra acceleration I have now. Throw it up the inside on that corner, it just leaves it wide open, nothing you can do, and I'm past. Next, I've got to catch up to Aiden, who's bright red everywhere. He's got red helmet, red suit, red gloves, red boots. I mean, it's an awesome look, really, but, yeah. Yeah, you can see the difference in, uh, in times when it comes to reaching that first braking zone. The difference between me and Aiden. Because um, he's still running at his eight, usual 80 kilos, I think it was, at this point. Um, but he had only 
uh, an 11 kilo plate that he was running anyway, so it wasn't a huge amount. Again, just going down the straight, you can see him catching up to him. Peel off just before the first corner so I don't go running into the back of him. Another look down the inside, you can see it's not going to work, so I just peel off again. So I know last time, he makes a bit of a mistake, I know last time that I took it up the inside, so I'll just do that again. I get there a bit earlier this time, so it's a bit safer of a move. Um, but yeah, get past him easy enough and uh, yeah, more time on track. just getting closer to the end of the third session and we are on the back of Michelle after some general running and uh, yeah just using that extra speed down the straight um, I think it's probably a bit ambitious to go for a move there especially if the gap closes um, so you've got to wait and try and find that moment where you can launch it down the inside like that, for example. 
yeah, close off the exit and uh, get through. So, session four, uh, cut to a bit sharply there, but you can see I've rolled the sleeves up because it really does start to get quite hot. This is uh, maybe about 12 in the, uh, in the day right now. So, we can start to heat up, and I think it got to about 20 degrees, which maybe for England is, is really rather hot. At the start of uh, session four, uh, I, I got out of the pits pretty late, uh, so I was busy putting lead back into the seat, of which there was there was quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, I've got quite a gap between me and uh, anyone in front. Now as I was coming out of the pits, I'd almost been lapped already, so uh, yeah, gave me quite a nice time to get back used to the weights after session three when I took them out. So for this session before I had it back in and uh, getting used to it again, just you know, more general running, trying to get quick.
Right, so you can see on the fast lap of session 4, um, there's a bit more to be desired in terms of time, but I guess I was starting to lose focus a bit. So, uh, yeah, get this really awesome shot actually from uh, my parents up in the up in the balcony. Um, I'm hoping to get more of this for the official SRK round. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to get this external view and then also match it up with my my first person one running very close to the barrier. So as I said, hoping for a bit more of that, and uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to this uh, first round, you know, outdoor debut. And I'm in the, the amateur category for SRK. I've got a few people saying that I could go in the pro one, uh, but I, I feel like for my, as I said, my debut, I want a bit of a uh, bit of space and decent. Point to learn at. So yeah, having a bit of a battle with Michelle right now. You see a bumper just coming down the ramp. Um, she runs a bit wide. Um, don't quite get past her. But then I get this lovely cut back. She then run, runs wide, and uh, I could just get away from her on the straight. Right, so the end of the fourth session here, and um, we'll just cut to showing the weights. I made a separate video on this, um, showing how much they are. First time doing a voiceover on a video, so, you know, if you enjoyed it, tell me. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.